Good morning, Knicks, Knicks fans. fans. What's, What's up? up, everybody? I'm Danny B. Danny B. It's the morning drive. It's the morning drive. We're talking Knicks. What's up, Knicks fans? How are we feeling today? The answer should be not too much lower than we felt yesterday. Yesterday, we had an eight-game winning streak. The vibes were immaculate. Yes, we saw that streak broken last night with the loss to Toronto, but a winning streak's not only about the number of wins in a row. It's also about the habits that are formed along the way. Winning habits. And the Knicks absolutely formed some of them along our eight-game winning streak, and you saw it last night. The fight, the resiliency. We didn't just roll over. You know, we came out in that first, RJ, aggressive, right out the gate, driving it inside, finding Mitch on a nice lob. You know, we were fighting back and forth in that first quarter. We're down one after one, and we come out in that second, and we see the aggression continue. RJ driving it in, Randall getting his done, but the Raptors go on an 11-0 run, and they end up just pulling away here. You know, and it, fouls are a problem, turnovers are a problem, Pascal Siakam getting what he wants is a problem. Guy had 26 in the first half. We're down 10, 63-53, and we come into the third quarter, again, not rolling over. IQ puts that cape on his back, hitting three after three after three. He had four of them in that third quarter, but it's not enough. We're down seven still after the third, and we come into that fourth, and we put our foot down, and we decide to make this a game. RJ, again, driving it inside, that aggression that he's been showing after, over the last three games. It's been consistent now. I think he's here to stay. I think it's safe to say RJ is back, period. You know, and he took that game into his hands last night, driving it in there again and again. He had an emphatic slam with a couple minutes left that put us up, but it just wasn't enough. You know, Fred Van Vliet knocks down a three. We saw Siakam get to the line again, knock down those free throws, and the Raptors able to pull away. 113 to 106 was the final score. We saw RJ with 30 points, Randall with 30 points, quick 20 points with that start. But again, not enough. You know, Mitch had an off night, only three rebounds for him. As a team, we rebounded decently. Randall picked up the slack, had 13 of them. We were 38 and 38 for rebounds as a whole, but we were a minus seven on the glass in the offensive zone. So that's not going to help. We had 16 turnovers to the Raptors, four turnovers. Again, not going to help. You know, when it's a tight game like this and it's a fight, dog fight down to the wire we got to do the little things right and the more little things that we do right helps tip the scale in our favor last night it did not tip in our favor it tipped towards the raptors you know little things they were getting done they were getting their points in the paint pascal siakam was a tough cover nobody on the knicks last night could cover that guy he had 52 points 26 in the first half 26 in the second half just was unstoppable you know and there was nothing we could do about it we gave it our best shot uh we did leave seven free throws on the table as well uh like I said, free throws, turnovers, uh, just the little things that just would have helped, you know, keep things in our favor, help momentum on our side, just couldn't get it done. So we got to look past it, you know, short memory. Like I said, a winning streak's not just about the number of wins. It's also about the habits formed. So that means that we've got to have a short memory and just keep moving right on. We got Chicago tomorrow night and an opportunity to start a whole nother winning streak. So that's what we got to do. We got to lock down and we got to keep moving forward. That's what the season's about. That's what winning habits are about. That's what building continuity, consistency, and building on top of things is about. Taking the next step, turning the corner. That's what we're looking to do. So that's what I got for you guys. I hope you enjoy the rest of the week. Hope you have a great weekend. If you celebrate, Merry Christmas. I know this weekend we got Christmas coming up. So I'll see you guys next week. Uh, Christmas Day game. Sixers and the Knicks. I think I'm gonna, we're going to do a little holiday uh, theme today. And Sean Geddes' Space Knicks on one. Go check that out. I'll definitely be in there. We got some cool Christmas questions we're going to throw at everybody. Have a little contest, a little trivia game. And uh, have some fun before the holiday. So, like I said, enjoy the week, the weekend. I'll catch you guys next week. Peace.